You would like that. Yeah, you nasty. We're not in high school, you're just a bitch, okay? All right, so hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, by the title, we're doing another episode. Guys, we've started Don't Hate the Player and it is like a dating game game, if that makes sense. So it is like a dating life reality show type of thing. Um, it's actually super fun, so I'm excited to see what happens. Um, so we're just gonna jump straight into the tea and the drama because I'm excited because the last time it ended off on a cliffhanger and I don't do well on cliffhangers and I know y'all don't either. So I'm gonna stop rambling. We're gonna jump straight into the game and see what happens in today's episode. All right. For the seven guys, our single girls have couple up with our players. It just better not be my man, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> who are not in fact here for love as they claim. Do you want to know who these men are? Well, you better get your detective hat on because it's up to you to find, really? Imagine if it's our guy and then throughout this whole thing and then he ends up falling in love. He's like, I fell in love with you, but he was really playing us this whole time, you know? <laughs> that better not happen. That's right, now that you're coupled up, you need to get to know your guy. Only then you can find out if he's here for love or money or he could just be a really good liar because that's all men do. Because if a player can manage to make it to the final, he walks away with $1 million. Can I be the player? I can play this so well. Can I do it? Ladies, you have the power to take these players down. Once a week, we'll be voting for who you think is a player and we will yeet him out out of the show. So keep your ear to the ground, get those guys to open up, and don't hate the player, hate the game. But, but like, can we hate both? <laughs> now let's get you guys settled into the house. Time to check out the rooms you'll be sharing this week. What do you mean, was I surprised? The host just dropped that over half these hotties are trying to screw me over to grab some cash? I mean, yeah, why not? I came here for love. I meet enough players in real life. You know what, call it. Yeah, sis. I feel ya. Am I worried about getting played? <laughs> Please. Lilith. <laughs> Lilith. Lilith. Sis. Um, n n nothing needs to be said. Look at this. I'm looking at it. I don't get played. I'm the one who plays. Get it? I mean, I hope it can work out if my guy is genuine or not. Oh, some are so cute. I guess we'll just need to spend time with them alone and see what we can suss out. In your room, the air feels thick between you as you begin to unpack your cases. Break the silence, let him break it? I'ma break it. So, that was a pretty big twist. Or maybe it wasn't. Are you asking me if I'm a player? I don't know, Colt, are you? <laughs> maybe. maybe. I don't trust people, okay? <laughs> I mean, I wasn't, but... Ugh, I hate this. I feel like an idiot for thinking it was gonna be a normal dating show. Guys, I don't know what to believe. I feel like he's a player and he's just playing us right now, okay? I feel conflicted. My brain hurts. This game this game is gonna give me a, a like, it's just gonna make my head hurt. I know it. They've always gotta have these twists now, some kind of drama. I came here looking for love, but now, now? No, don't. See, every time he speaks, I smile and it's bad because he's, you, you never know. No, you clearly think I'm a player. <laughs> well, yeah, because that's exactly what a player would say. He goes, there's just no one like you. You're just one of a kind. There's, yeah, I see some, uh, blah, 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 blah. no, no, no. They will say anything that they want you to hear and then they lie and then, yeah, that's part of this, okay? Are you a player? No, mm, you said that a little too quick. Mm -hmm. But if I was a player, I wouldn't admit it, would I? I'm damned if I do and damned if I don't. True. Do I think she believes me? <laughs> we don't, no. Honestly, I have no idea, but I know actions speak louder than words, so I'm going to try and show her. I don't want this to be an elephant in the room. Well, it is, because I won't know if your feelings are true or you're lying. But then, you could be lying, but then they end up being true. All I want to do is keep getting to know you. I'm not going to lie, I'm really attracted to you and I want to explore this connection further. Maybe we could just take the pressure off and focus on getting to know each other? What do you want to know? I mean, I want to know everything. <laughs> I'm sure you know. But we could start with something small like, how do you take your coffee? I like white coffee, I like cappuccino, I drink my coffee black. I'm, I like white coffee, I like 90% cream, 10% coffee. I like white coffee. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, are you guys coming? Coming where? We're having an after party on the balcony. Oh, party. <laughs> okay. That sounds fun. Cool, exciting. That sounds fun. Let's go. He reaches his hand for yours and you take his hand, smile at him, walk past. Oh, no. If someone's giving me their hand, I'm going to take it. Player or not, give me your hand. Thank you. Out on the balcony, the other couples are already mingling. Hey, Madison. You made it. Hey, Summer. Let me get you a drink. <laughs> when he's a gentleman. No, he could be lying. I need to remember that he could be lying to us for all I know. Gosh, he's so attentive. 
that's my man well he's not my man but you guys get the point <laughs> there's no way he's a player here's hoping guess time will tell stay guess time will tell we'll know eventually athena was already saying she thinks her guy's a player oh ethan okay good thing we didn't pick him why is that apparently his suitcase stinks of cheap body spray he said axe <laughs> here you go thank you what are you two ladies talking about nothing <laughs> nothing players uh should have seen that coming Sorry, Colt. I have an inbuilt bullshit radar and no filter. I like Summer already. I'm sniffing out those players like a bloodhound. Anything to confess? Yeah, Colt. Anything to confess? <laughs> Nothing at all. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm just getting a little tension there. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Come on, last one in the pool is going home this week. Uh, it, it's not gonna be me. What? I don't have my bathing suit. None of us do. Like, we're going skinny dipping? <laughs> we're meant to be getting to know each other, right? Wrong. Not like that. Uh-uh. Look at her sweating. What's wrong, Grandma? Too chicken to come swimming in your underwear? If anyone looks like the grandma here, it's you. Oh, okay. She's not chicken. Come on, Madison. This is the perfect time to get the scoop on the other guys. Work out who the players are. <laughs> We're not chicken. Colt brushes his fingers gently along your knuckles. Oh, he's a little touchy for the first time we're meeting, sir. Yeah. Don't listen to Lola, we know you're not chicken. You ready? Colt strips his underwear and winks at you to follow him into the pool. Oh my God, I'm not chicken. I'm not chicken. You think I'm chicken? I am chicken, but not for this game. I'm spending, I'm, I'm spent this. I will be so broke for this, but I don't even care because I'm going in. <laughs> you drop your clothes, stepping out of your shoes as you feel the eyes of Colt on your body. The way she's wearing like an under thing. <laughs> okay, so as much fun as this is, we have some detective work to do why don't we play truth or dare or never have i ever which game do you think will help you learn more about the guys i think maybe never have i ever but truth or dare they won't even tell the truth so it doesn't matter let's do never have i ever never have i ever great idea i got this from the bar earlier i'll go first of course you will never have i ever madison should pick who should go first because she won first selection oh She's not happy about that. I really should be learning more about the other guys. Mmm, let's see Heath. Yeah, I pick Heath. Never have I ever lost a bet. Mmm, okay, let's see. Yeah. Come on, guys. We're on TV. We need to make it spicy. Never have I ever gone skinny dipping. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, okay. I have not. No. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take you with me next time I feel like skinny dipping. Thanks, Colt. But we don't need to be scarring our eyes, so I'll pass. Thanks. Never have I ever given or received a lap dance. <laughs> no. <laughs> I hope I'm around for your first. Mm, would you? Mm -hmm, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would like that. Yeah, you nasty. You play into the night before retiring to your room with Colt. The next day. Oh, okay. Is he? Oh, he's gone. Oh, hey, how'd you sleep? Oh, he's, she's just walking in. Okay. Good. I bet you did. Did Colt share the bed with you? No, he slept on the couch. Oh, he's a gentleman. That's cute. That's, yeah, I like that. I like Colt. I knew I had a good feeling about him. He did? He insisted. He's kind of an old school gentleman. Oh, guys. <laughs> Find you a man like Colt, unless he's a player, then I will actually be crushed and my heart will hurt. Thanks. That's so cute. My guy snores like a chainsaw. Ladies, you're looking fresh. How was your night? Very good, if you know what I mean. Already? Already? Like like, like that or like something else? Seriously? Already? Th that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I know. I was not thinking the only, th okay. No time like the present. Okay, go off Flora. <laughs> Who knows, we could both be kicked off the show by the end of the week. Live for the moment. Hey, you're awake. Mm, he's looking for us. <laughs> Guys, I need to not smile. No smiling. This this is not for smiling. <laughs> I made you a drink. Oh, thank you. You remembered I like white coffee. I remember everything she told me. Okay, cool. So this is either like you're really either really good or really bad, you know? My guy can't even seem to remember I'm sharing a bed with him. I spent the whole night fighting him for the covers, but Cole remember Madison's favorite drink? Okay, someone seems a little bit jealous. Okay, maybe you should have picked better. When is the next recoupling again? <sighs> well, you're not gonna be recoupling with my man, that's for sure. Okay, that may be a little bit aggressive. Um, this is why. <laughs> Thank you, that's so thoughtful of you. You're welcome. The guys and I are trying to make some breakfast. How do you take your eggs? I like my eggs fried, scrambled omelet. Uh, let's just go with fried. Fried. Awesome, back in a moment. Oh, gee, he is so adorable. I know, I want one. <laughs> Did he really remember how you take your coffee? Yeah. Wow, and you didn't hook up last night? Mm -mm. They didn't even share the bed. He gave it to her while he took the couch. Old school romantic. That is goals. There's no way he's a player or he's really good at playing the game. 
Good morning, couples. I take it we're all getting to know one another. Finish up your breakfast and get dressed because it's time for the first challenge. Your limos will be here within the hour, ready to take you to wardrobe. Here, you should make sure you eat something before we go. I feel like we may all need the strength we can get for this challenge. Thank you. He's delicious. Hold on to that man. Yeah, no one better try and steal him. Okay, I'm watching you, Athena. Uh-huh. Okay, boys in the first limo and boys in the second. Did that say boys for both of them? Did you see Madison? She's already got Colt wrapped around her finger. I don't have him wrapped around my finger. Don't be so modest, he's smitten. Okay, I like him, yeah. She's so clingy, poor guy can't get away. Aw, sounds like jealousy. That's what I'm hearing, yeah. Your guy doesn't pay attention to you? Okay. Oh no, this bitch did not. Lily seems to be trying to establish herself as some kind of queen bee. Newsflash, sis. We're not in high school. You're just a bitch. Okay. But in reality, she just comes off looking like a queen bee yacht. Yeah, I wasn't gonna let her get away with it this time. I had enough of her talking down to Madison. It's so petty. That's not true. He's a genuinely good guy. Okay. Everyone needs a friend like Summer, as you should. Yeah. You're just jealous that your guy's making eyes at Madison last night in the pool. Is that some tea I'm hearing? Jealous? I've never been jealous a day in my life, so I couldn't tell you how it feels. Yeah, right. Okay. Maybe you could describe it to me. Um, just take a look at your face. And that's exactly what it is. Considering how plain your face is and how frumpy your clothes are. Um, okay. Hold on, Miss Girl. Can we take a minute to look at your face? Let's not play this, okay? Because I will win any day of the week. I bet Envy is your middle name, and I bet Ugly is yours. Yeah, inside and out. Plain Envy Jane. My name isn't Jane. Sorry, did you say something? Yeah, she said her name isn't Jane, so get it right, bitch, okay? It's summer. I don't speak basic. Someone needs to get a muzzle for that girl. Oh, don't worry. Duct tape will work fine. I've had enough of Lilith bitching everyone out. Summer only tries to defend me, and now Lilith is laying, oh, stand up for my friend by putting, oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to be paying for this. I'm putting Lilith in her place. That's funny. I thought the show was called Don't Hate the Player. Not America's Biggest Bitch. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, she did. Maybe you're on the wrong show, Lilith. Excuse me? Did you fart? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Did you say something? I don't speak, bitch. Okay, we're the same person? Yeah, we're the same person. You wanna go? Oh, <laughs> you wanna square up, sis? Cause we can do that. We, we can do that. I wanna warn you to watch your mouth if you're gonna talk smack to my friend. And the next time you feel like the need to talk about my guy, say it to me directly. Because Summer is a cinnamon roll. But I clap back. You got it? She looks stunned for a moment as the other girls in the limo start laughing. Yeah, stay in your place, bitch. <laughs> That was epic. I bet they play that on the next teaser for the next episode. Legendary. Madison standing up for me like that was amazing. I got her back from here out. Lilith needs to step back. Welcome couples to your first challenge. As you can see, we're on the beach. First challenge will be life-saving. Huh? I'm sorry, do I look like a lifeguard to you? No. That's right, ladies. You will have to make your way through our lifesaver obstacle course. To make it to your booze, who will be on the other side of the beach. When you get there, you need to give them the kiss of life. Oh. Okay, we can do that. <laughs> or just a kiss. With tongue. Oh, okay, Xavier. The girl who saves her boy in the fastest time will win. Our first luxury date. <gasps> I need that. I need, if I don't win it, then the rest of the girls, except for Lilith. That's right, you'll win a first perfect date. Oh my God, we're flying. We'll be flying you to Paris, the city of love. Um, hi, me, want that. <laughs> the two of you will have a date on the secluded Parisian terrace overlooking the, the Eiffel Tower, I think. Yeah. Whereas the loser will be eating their dinner in the staff cafeteria. This is our first big prize. It's a good one. So make your way to wardrobe to find out what your team colors are. Oh, I'm winning this challenge. So you can take my man? I don't think so. Paris is a city of couture and you need someone with class to enjoy it. Oh, hello. This is who you coupled up with? Hi, I'm Colt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Girl, you approve, I know. Sorry, I just swallowed my tongue. <laughs> What? I'm Hermione. You cuties just make my job so easy. So you guys are the red team. And I have some amazing beachwear for you too. Pick your perfect swimwear. Okay, let's see. There's that one, that one. That one's cute. I like, I think I like this one though. Yeah, let's do this. Oh my gosh, I love this. We look so hot. Red is definitely your color. We're gonna blow them out of the water. I need to, okay, do I, okay. Do I, I need to win it, right? Like if I, we win it, like I'm, I'm not gonna wear the wrong color. We have to, I have to. I have to, right? Let's go. You gonna save my life? No. You're gonna, you know? Because I'd love to spend an evening with you in Paris. Mm. Yeah, okay. I won't let you down. How do I think Madison looked in the red bikini? <laughs> uh, are you okay? Um, yeah, she looked amazing. Sorry, I'm blushing. Can we start over? 
Guys, he's so cute. This is... This is where they lie. Wow, look at you guys. You all look amazing. Okay, ladies, are you ready to go get your man? Here's what you have to do. You need to crawl under the net, jog through the tires, climb the wall. Climb the wall? Do we look like Spider-Man to you? Swim to the buoy and back. Then finally swing over the rope to give your guide the kiss of the life. Sounds simple enough. Iris, would you like to count us down? On your marks, get set, go, go, go. Oh my God, guys, we better win this. Hurry up. Okay, do I have to, is, I have to pay attention? Do I? I don't know. Fine, crawl, crawl, crawl. This is stressful. Oh my God, okay. Okay, next. Oh, she lost the top. Girl. Oh man, that's gonna make it into the season highlights. That's Colette out of the contest. Madison is catching up now. Now she's in the top three. How am I gonna explain to my Nana that I have my tattoos out on TV? Girl, I wanna do the same thing. She, she said, hey. <laughs> they better leave that out of the final cut or I swear to God, I will sue. How should I cross the tires? Oh my God, um, jog, jog, right, right? Was that right? Okay, I was stressed. I almost ran out of time. Oh, we have to climb, climb the wall. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're winning this. Okay, Paris. Oh, <gasps> not her. Not the bitch post. She, she just pushed me. Hope you had a nice trip, loser. Uh, that cheating bitch. I'm gonna beat her. Oh, I'm gonna beat her. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna win this. Are we gonna act like Lily didn't just yeet Madison out of one of the hardest obstacles? That's what I'm saying. I could have fallen and I could have, you know, that could have been it for me, you know? Okay, now to swim out to the buoy and back. Okay, we can do this, girl. Don't worry. Good thing I'm a fast swimmer. We got this. We got this. Bye, Lilith. Have fun. Well, Madison is in the lead. She just has to swim back from the buoy and complete the final obstacle to reach her man. We can do it. We got this. Okay, girl, go back, go back, go back, hurry up. Hell no, how the hell did she manage to get ahead of me? Yeah, cheaters never win, so. You reached final obstacle, totally exhausted, but the first person to be back. Look at the rope swing, all you have to do is swing over and run to Cole, swing. Oh, why is he, why is he, oh, we're gonna get him. Don't worry, we'll save you. Just then you hear something. What? Oh, no, I can't really beat me when I'm so close. Oh, I have to pay for it? I have to pay for it, okay. Guess I paid for it. Lilith, take that. Oh my god, I see, that's my man. That's my man. Woo, we have our winners. Madison and Cole have won the first challenge and had the luxury day to Paris. I never had a doubt. You sure about that? Cause I did for a second. Yay, Paris. I knew she could do it. Mm -hmm. And now it's my turn to make sure the date she won us is totally unforgettable. Okay, pick your perfect outfit. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, that one's cute. Oh, I actually like that. I mean, we kind of, he kind of looks like a tool in it, but it's okay. I like this one, it's cute. I'm so excited. Have you ever been to Paris before? Yes, no. <laughs> Never. Have you? Yes, once. The city of love. Were you in love when you came here? Huh? Thank you for winning this for us. You were like an Amazonian in that challenge. Well, I wanted to win. I think we deserve a perfect first date. I couldn't agree more. When you touch down in Paris, the two of you are whisked off to a beautiful rooftop restaurant. Oh my God, okay. I can't believe we can see the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, the view is pretty spectacular. What do you want to eat? I will have spaghetti, burger, toasty, waffle, spaghetti. And to drink, the lady will have a pina colada. Um, he remember, I was like, why is he ordering it for us? But we, we like pina coladas, he remembered. That's my favorite. I remember. No. The smile, no. So here we are, our first day. Cheers. How are you enjoying your food? It's amazing. How's your food? It's amazing. Delicious. <laughs> the French definitely know how to cook. Yeah, they do. Why don't we step out for dessert though? Step out? We could grab some macarons and get a closer look of the Eiffel Tower. Oh, yes, let's do that. He takes your hand as a two, you make your way down the street. Make my way downtown. Here, try this. Oh. See, the feeding, the feeding, other people think, like, <laughs> I'm not even gonna say anything. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's delicious. The best macaron I've ever had. He smiles at you, his eyes lingering on your lips. Oh, guys, I actually lack love in my life. This is so sad. <laughs> what are you thinking about? I was just thinking about how I'm kind of bummed that we already had our first kiss. Your heart starts to beat a little faster as he places a hand on your waist. Not, oh, okay. Not that I didn't love your life-saving kiss of life. I just think that something like this is a lot more romantic for a first kiss. Something like what? He tilts your chin up, cupping your face in his hand as he brushes his lips against yours and you kiss him back as his cheeks shove him. Imagine shoving him be like, move. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I'm, oh. kiss his cheek. We've already kissed him. I mean, we might as well make it special. We're in Paris, you know? Yeah. As soon as his lips press into yours, it's like lightning struck. An entire galaxy of stars bursting inside your chest. He pulls you into him tighter, his mouth hard on yours, unyielding. Oh, I've been dying to do that. Then don't stop there. I wasn't planning on it. Oh, 
Okay, things are getting spicy. All right. Today has just been perfect, so romantic. Perfect. It really has. I never want to forget it. Let's take a photo of us with the Eiffel Tower. Hmm, it's a bit far away. I have a better idea. His fingers intertwine with yours as he shoots you a flirty smile. Hand in hand, you race towards the tower, feeling your heart pumping as he squeezes your hand. Oh, we're just running. Okay. <laughs> okay. You stop to catch your breath for a moment, his fingers still touching your arm. Ready? Are we going up the tower? No, we couldn't be up it and take a photo of us with it at the same time. I never want to forget how perfect Paris is, so I want to take the perfect picture. I'm intrigued. What do you have in mind? Take my hand and let me show you. Like we haven't been taking your hand the entire time? Okay. You take his hand, feeling the sparks flying between you as you and your fingers make contact. When it's finally time to go, you watch the sunset over Paris from the window of your private jet. Colt snuggles into your shoulder as he starts to fall asleep on the plane. Oh my god, just... Just take my heart. Just take it. Yeah, I don't care if he's playing me. I honestly don't. <laughs> you smile at him as you take a look at the photos you two took. Oh, guys, that's so cute. It really was the most perfect date you've ever been on. Hey, hey, how was Paris? It was amazing. He kissed me by the Eiffel Tower. It was so romantic. It sounds amazing. I can't even be jealous. You guys deserved it. Especially after Lilith tried to trip you. I hate her guts. Me too. Yeah, she's a piece of work. What are you doing now? Deciding on what to wear to the elimination. Are you nervous? Yes, no, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't think you have any reason to be. Colt is clearly legit. Who do you think is a player? Athena's guy, he's not very interested in her at all, so I'll vote for him. Hey, hey, I'll give you guys some time together. You okay? Yeah, just mentally getting ready for this elimination. And the possibility that today could be the last day I get to see you. Don't say, you're not getting eliminated, don't worry. I don't think you're gonna be eliminated. I hope not, because after Paris, there's so much more I want to explore with you. This feels so right to me. This is why I came on the show, to meet someone like you. Hmm, hmm, we'll see about that. I'm not ready to let go of that yet. I'm not going down without a fight. Am I scared of being eliminated? 100%. I just hope Madison knows how much this time together has meant to me. Do I think Colt is a player? Yes, no, maybe. For right now, I'm gonna say no. But the possibility is there, you know? No, I don't, and I don't think anyone else does either. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our first elimination. That's right, it's time to read one of those pesky players. Ladies, we will ask you one at a time to vote on which guy you think is a player. The guy who receives the most votes will be sent home. It's time to vote. Do I think it's him, Romeo? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's uh, Ethan. Yeah, I just have a feeling. Okay, the votes are counted, but before we announce who is going home, I think we have one final twist. That's right, the guys have one final secret they have been keeping. Isn't that right, gents? Um, excuse me? Secrets? I don't like secrets. What's the final secret? The three boys who aren't players are millionaires. <clears throat> what? So I hope you haven't accidentally voted to send one of those hot rich gems home. Wait, what? Now time to reveal who you're sending home. What? It's, it's just gonna end there? Guys, what? Huh? Huh? Oh my god, um, I'm low-key stressed. I'm low-key stressed, and I feel like, I low-key feel like our guy's a player. I really do. And then we're just gonna, and then I'm, I'm nervous. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. That is going to be this. I actually really like this. They should make this into a real TV show, because I would eat this up. Like, I, like, this is, I love it. I love the drama. I love the tea. But not when I'm in it, just when I'm watching it, you know? But I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe down below. I love y'all. Don't forget to love yourself. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace out, scouts. Bye.